Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel All About BI. Uh, this is going to be a pretty basic session on uh, filtering files based on file name. So I, I'll just show you my uh, files in data like storage. I have these many files and I just want to filter out the files uh, that belong to uh, previous two months. Okay, this is uh, October, so uh, 10th month. I just want to process the files uh, which are having the uh, value of either September or August. Okay, so August and September months file I want to process in my pipeline and how can I filter out of all the available files which have all the uh, different months as well. Okay, so in uh, our case out of these files which are present here we just want to pick up uh, 08 and 09. Okay, how are we going to do that? Just the expression I am going to tell you how to use it. Okay. Uh, first one is the get metadata activity. This is going to get me all the files that are present in my data like storage. Okay, so just uh, a glimpse of it. And then once we uh, have the list of files, we can filter it out. So what is the uh, items that it has to filter? This is going to be the items, which is nothing but get metadata output dot child items. And then the expression. So this is uh, pretty much simple, but it might look longer. Okay, I'll I'll just break it. Uh, and let you know how it works okay all right so our aim is current month will be obtained by utc now so this utc now is nothing but it's going to give the current timestamp right so i don't want timestamp or any other thing but i just want the month okay current month so that i can subtract one month uh, for getting september month's file and two for getting august month's file okay so format uh, date time this function is going to uh, help me to pick up only the month value from the timestamp so for that i am using this part okay so this this will give me output like 10 current month okay and what i am going to do i have to subtract one from this in order to get september month file and then i have to subtract two in order to get august month right so how am i going to do that this is by using add function all right but add function works with integer parameters or arguments so, okay that's why i'm converting the whole uh, thing into integer okay uh, so add to this function we are passing the current month and then we are passing minus two or minus one okay so minus 2 will be for getting august month file minus 1 for getting uh, september month file so the whole thing that i am highlighting here will be giving me either 08 or 09 okay and then uh, I, I just undo it so uh, wh what the next function does this contains function does is it is taking two arguments again so the first one is item dot name this item is nothing but all the items that are brought by get metadata activity in our case the file names okay so i am just passing item dot name this is going to give me the whole file name uh, that that are coming from get metadata activity so how it is going to turn out is the contains function will work like this file name comma 08 or 09 okay so what contains checks if the file name that we pass has this value or not okay and in case we want to check two different values we can mention contains again same file name comma 09 and we just have to prefix an r condition before it okay so this will uh, the whole expression that i have given here will evaluate like this so it just checks if the file name has 08 or the file name has 09 in it in case the file name brings 08 or 09 it is going to filter out that file and show to us okay so that is about the whole expression and i have run the pipeline you can see the output here out of 10 files only two files are matching the conditions that we have given and one is uh, august month file and another is the uh, September month file. So this is uh, a simple scenario, but uh, creating this uh, expression might be a little tricky. So just wanted to bring it uh, um, for your reference. Thank
thanks a lot for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comment section if you haven't subscribed request you to subscribe thank you